Hi, I'm Will from Elkatherm UK and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to program your integrated digital stat. So, let's take a look. Now, to begin, we need you to be on comfort mode, which is represented by the sunshine here. For those of you who are on this screen, great, just ignore this next section. There will be many who are not on this screen. I will now direct you to comfort mode. Some of you may be on standby mode, represented by this symbol here. To take your Alcatherm heater off standby mode, essentially turning it on, press the large bottom left button once. One beep means it is on. If you do not come across the comfort mode with the sunshine, no worries. Simply press the large bottom right button repeatedly until you reach it. Also, for those of you who are not on standby mode, but were not on comfort mode, you may also press this button repeatedly. Once you reach comfort mode with the sunshine symbol, stop. Comfort mode is for when you want your room or building the warmest. Before programming your Elkatherm radiator, we need to set the three different modes starting with comfort. To alter the temperature on comfort mode, press either this button with the minus above it, turning the temperature down. Or the button to the right of it with the plus above, turning the temperature up. As a useful tip, you can hold down the buttons to speed the process up. We recommend you put the temperature at around 21 degrees. However, this depends on your preference. Once you are happy with your comfort mode temperature, we can now move on to frost mode. Once again, press the large bottom right button once. To represent frost mode, a snowflake symbol should appear. Frost mode is for when you want your room the coolest. For example, during the night whilst you are asleep or when you are out of the house. To change your frost mode temperature, do the exact same thing as you did for comfort mode. We recommend a temperature at around seven degrees. Once you are happy with your frost temperature, you can now move onto eco mode. So once again, press the large bottom right button once. A half moon should appear. Eco mode on your digital stat may be set at 13 degrees and cannot be changed. However, if you are able to turn it up and down using the plus and minus buttons, we recommend it should be set 10 degrees below your comfort mode temperature. When you are happy with your eco mode, 
Once again, press the large bottom right button once. This will bring you to the program screen. To begin programming, press this small button with PROG above it. Once you have done that, you will be brought to this screen. Now I will explain some of the controls. So this button is your comfort mode. This is your eco mode. And finally, this third button is your frost mode. Now, all these modes, as you will know, simply represent different temperatures. Above the modes, you will see the time displayed. So currently it is midnight. And here is your timeline of your day spanning 24 hours, starting at midnight all the way to 2300 hours. Then when you do press again to midnight, it will bring you back here. To tell you where you are on the timeline, there will be a flashing square above. I am going to program this radiator like I have a nine to five job schedule. However, for those who have a different timetable, you will be able to tailor it to yourselves. If you already have a program like mine does, don't worry, you don't have to delete it. As you press the mode buttons, it will simply change it. Now, as we are starting at midnight, I'm going to want the lowest temperature whilst I am in bed. So I am going to press frost mode repeatedly until I reach seven o'clock. Now I am at seven in the morning. I'm about to get out of bed to get ready for work to leave at nine. So I want to put the highest temperature on, which is the comfort mode button here. So I keep pressing the comfort mode until I reach nine. I have now left the house. However, for economical reasons, I don't want to put frost mode back on as that will be too cold. So I'm going to use the middle temperature I have on eco mode by pressing it repeatedly from 9 to 1600. I get back from work just after 5, so I am going to put comfort mode on. Here, the warmest temperature. So that's when I get back home, it will be nice and toasty. I will keep comfort mode on until I go to bed at 2200 hours. Now I am in bed, I want the house to cool down to my frost mode temperature. I will press frost mode from 2200 hours until I reach midnight. And as you can see, the square has brought me back to the beginning of the timeline. The non-flashing squares represent the modes. So two on top of each other means comfort. 
one means eco and no squares mean frost mode. Now you should enter your own program. If you make any mistakes, which is easy to do, just carry on entering the rest of the modes. You will probably have to enter the same modes as you get closer to the time where you made the mistake. That is fine. You can now pause this tutorial. Once you are happy with your own program, press play and I will show you the next step. So now you have programmed your Elkatherm heater. We now need to take attention to the numbers here that go all the way down to seven. These represent the days of the week. For most people, they want the same program every day. For those of you who don't, ignore this next step. Simply hold down the OK button on the top right until the triangle goes down to two, representing Tuesday. To make sure the program runs throughout the week, you have to keep holding the OK button on each number. Hold and let go. As you can see, the triangle has come down. Hold, let go, hold, let go, and again, hold, let go, hold, let go. Once you've held it on seven, hold, let go, you will come back to this screen you are now finished. If you do have different timetables throughout the week, you can press OK, not holding it down. As you can see, the triangle has gone to number two. You can now create another program tailored to that day using the modes. Then carry on doing the same going throughout the week. Once you have reached seven and programmed it, press OK. You will be brought back to this screen. You are now finished.